The nanotechnology allows us to control and exploit materials at the nanometer scale, where the size of the material can dramatically affect its properties. When materials are reduced to nanometer dimensions, quantum confinement and surface effects come into play, leading to changes in optical, electrical, mechanical, and chemical behavior that are not observed in bulk materials. For instance, quantum dot semiconductor nanoparticles exhibit size-dependent fluorescence, meaning their color can be tuned simply by controlling their diameter. Smaller quantum dots typically emit light in the blue region, while larger dots shift toward red, a property that has found applications in display technology and bioimaging. How does this size tunability work? When a material is confined to dimensions on the order of the electron's wavelength, the continuous energy bands of bulk material become discrete energy levels. This shift means that electrons require different amounts of energy to transition between levels, directly affecting properties like the band gap. In the case of gold nanoparticles, for example, the plasmon resonance responsible for their vivid colors changes with particle size. As the size decreases, the frequency of the collective oscillations of electrons shifts, altering the way light is absorbed and scattered. This principle is harnessed in sensors and medical diagnostics, where the optical properties of nanoparticles can be precisely tuned to detect specific molecules. Beyond optical properties, size tunability in nanomaterials also influences electrical and catalytic behaviors. Carbon nanotubes and graphene, for instance, can exhibit different conductivity and mechanical strength depending on their size and structural configuration. In energy storage devices, reducing the size of electrode materials can increase the surface area dramatically. Enhancing the performance of batteries and supercapacitors by facilitating faster electron and ion transport. How does an increased surface area improve performance? A larger surface area provides more active sites for chemical reactions, leading to better charge transfer and overall efficiency in energy storage systems. Nano devices take advantage of these size dependent properties to create systems that are highly efficient and multifunctional. In drug delivery, nanoparticles can be engineered to carry therapeutic agents and release them at targeted sites within the body, where the particle size influences how the device interacts with biological membranes and evades the immune system. Similarly, in environmental applications, nanoscale catalysts can accelerate chemical reactions at lower temperatures, reducing energy consumption and enhancing reaction specificity. The ability to tune properties by simply adjusting size opens up a myriad of applications across various fields, from designing more sensitive sensors and advanced imaging systems to creating stronger, lighter materials and more efficient energy devices. Nanotechnology is transforming our approach to technology. Could these innovations lead to a future where materials are custom-built for specific tasks? The evidence suggests that by mastering the art of size control at the nanoscale, we are well on our way to developing next-generation devices with unprecedented performance and versatility. As the size of a nanomaterial decreases below a critical threshold, quantum confinement begins to dominate its electronic properties. In quantum dots and other nanoscale structures, the confinement of charge carriers, electrons and holes, in small dimensions increases energy level separation, altering their optical and electronic characteristics. This effect is responsible for size-dependent fluorescence in semiconductor nanoparticles, with smaller particles emitting higher energy, blue-shifted light. Quantum confinement is crucial for developing tunable optoelectronic devices, biological imaging agents, and quantum computing materials. Cadmium selenide, CDC quantum dots, exhibit color variation from blue to red depending on their size, which is used in high-desolution biological labeling. It's like changing the length of a guitar string. Shorter strings produce higher pitch sounds, just as smaller quantum dots emit shorter wavelength light. Reducing material size to the nanoscale significantly increases the surface area to volume ratio, leading to enhanced chemical reactivity, faster catalysis, and improved adsorption properties. This high surface area is particularly beneficial in catalysis, drug delivery, and gas sensing, where reactions predominantly occur at the material's surface. Smaller nanoparticles provide more active sites per unit mass, allowing for efficient chemical transformations. This tunability enables precise control of reaction kinetics, energy storage, and pollutant degradation. Gold nanoparticles, which are chemically inert in bulk, 
become highly catalytically active at the nanoscale, enabling CO oxidation in catalytic converters. It's like chopping a sugar cube into fine powder. The, the more finely it's ground, the faster it dissolves in water. Metallic nanoparticles, such as gold and silver, exhibit localized surface plasmon resonance, LSPR, where free electrons oscillate collectively in response to light. The plasmon frequency depends on particle size, shape, and surrounding environment, allowing tunable optical properties. This effect is widely used in biosensing, color-changing coatings, and surface-enhanced spectroscopy, SERs. Controlling nanoparticle size enables precise tuning of absorption and scattering properties, optimizing applications in nanophotonics. Gold nanoparticles appear red or blue depending on their size and aggregation state, a principle used in rapid COVID-19 test kits. It's like tuning the color of soap bubbles by changing their thickness. Different sizes interact with light differently. At the nanoscale, materials often exhibit increased hardness, strength, and fracture resistance due to size-dependent defect reduction. In bulk materials, mechanical failure often originates from dislocations and grain boundaries, but in nanoparticles and nanowires, these structural defects are minimized. This effect is critical in designing ultra agua nano composites, wear resistant coatings, and next generation structural materials. By carefully tuning grain size or particle size, engineers can develop materials with exceptional mechanical resilience. Nano crystalline metals such as nano structured titanium exhibit higher strength and hardness compared to their bulk counterparts. It's like making a rope from many thin, flawless fibers, increasing its durability compared to a single thick strand with defects. Magnetic nanoparticles below a critical size, tilde 10 to 20 M, exhibit super paramagnetism, where they lose permanent magnetism in the absence of an external magnetic field. This occurs because thermal fluctuations randomly align the magnetic dipoles, preventing remanent magnetization. Super paramagnetic behavior is crucial for targeted drug delivery, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, contrast agents, and high dipidence data storage. By tuning particle size, researchers can control magnetic response for precise biomedical and industrial applications. Iron oxide Phi 304 nanoparticles are used as MRI contrast agents with their super paramagnetic properties, enhancing image resolution. It's like tiny compass needles that lose their direction when shaken, but instantly align when a magnet is nearby. Nanostructuring materials drastically alters their thermal conductivity, allowing for tunable heat transport in nanoscale systems. For example, in carbon nanotubes and graphene, quantum effects enable exceptionally high thermal conductivity, whereas phonon scattering in nanostructured semiconductors can reduce heat flow. This tunability is key for heat management in electronics, thermoelectric generators, and energy-efficient devices. By carefully engineering grain boundaries and interfaces, scientists can design materials with tailored heat dissipation properties. Silicon nanowires exhibit ultra-low thermal conductivity, which enhances their thermoelectric efficiency for energy harvesting applications. It's like controlling airflow in a house by adjusting the number of open windows. More barriers slow down heat flow. In semiconductor nanomaterials, size reduction increases the band gap energy, affecting charge carrier dynamics and electronic transport. This tunability allows for the development of energy efficient transistors, quantum dot solar cells, and tunable photodetectors. By modifying nanoparticle size, scientists can control electrical conductivity, charge mobility, and optical absorption. This is essential for next-generation electronics, photonics, and quantum information processing. Silicon nanocrystals have a size-dependent band gap, enabling their use in tunable optoelectronic devices. It's like adjusting the height of a hurdle in a race. Higher barriers require more energy to cross, just like larger band gaps need more energy for electron excitation. Nanoporous materials contain precisely engineered pore sizes, allowing selective transport of molecules and ions. By tuning pore diameter, researchers can control gas separation, water purification, and molecular sieving applications. These materials play a key role in desalination membranes, catalysis, 
and targeted drug delivery. Their high surface area enhances adsorption efficiency and selectivity, improving performance in industrial and environmental applications. Zeolite-based nanomaterials are widely used for gas separation and water filtration due to their precisely tuned pore structures. It's like sorting coffee beans through different sized strainers. Only specific particles can pass through. Nanomaterials exhibit unique frictional properties where surface forces and van der Waals interactions dominate over bulk mechanical effects. By controlling surface roughness, atomic scale coatings, and molecular lubricants, researchers can design ultra-low friction nanocomposites. This tunability is essential for nanoelectromechanical systems, NEMS, Advanced lubricants, nanoscale lubrication effects also enable self-cleaning surfaces and anti-fouling coatings. Graphene-based lubricants reduce wear and tear in machine components, enhancing efficiency and lifespan. It's like putting an ultra-thin layer of oil on a surface, making it nearly frictionless.